guys, a way of beating yourself up or being negative about yourself never, ever, ever serves you. Can you get that? It never, ever, ever serves you. It just does not serve you. So it's very simple. Well, it's easy. No, it's simple, but it's not easy, which is all you got to do is stop, drop, and roll, which is stop the thought, drop that thought, just get rid of it. Why do you tell yourself you're a loser or you're ugly or you're stupid or it's never going to happen for you or you're worthless or you ingest that stuff and then it just opens up that Pandora's box of all those other things that those things are connected to. Just drop it and then roll with something else. Roll with something else. And I'm going to, you know, we're going to just do a little review of this best-selling book because I'm going to show you many ways to roll. I'm just going to do 10 really quickly. But before I just, this is very brief. I just, I just want to keep reminding you, you guys, when you, when you are booting or rebooting a negative thought, it's, it's negative and it doesn't feel good because that's just it. It doesn't feel good. That's sort of your, uh, what am I trying to do? Your, your radar telling you this is not in alignment with who you are. It's just not. That's why it doesn't feel good. It's not in alignment with the spirit of who you are, and a deeper part of yourself knows that. It's just the pattern of the conditioned mind that hooks onto that repetitive thought. And if you look at the science behind it, a belief is just a thought that you think over and over again. It doesn't mean that there is any validity to it. Half the thoughts that you think, 70,000 some a day, are not based in any kind of truth. They're just based in a repetitive nature of you thinking them over and over again. That's what you have access to. So I know it's not always easy to sort of flip that switch, but it is the concept is simple. You just have to rewire it. Okay, so how do you rewire it? I'm just going to go through 10 really quickly, and I'm going to give you a new one tonight. Okay, so just to remind you how you stop, drop, and roll. I've never really said it that way before. Meditate, that's one way. I mean, there is science now that's starting to prove that in the gap of, in the gap between thought, you're actually in a space of being, which kind of neutralizes, I'm, I'm really trying to simplify this, which kind of really neutralizes the uh, corrosive, aspect of the, 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 the repetitive thinking that we have. Just spend a little bit more time in silence. Two, take a walk. Einstein did it. You can do it. Three, breathe. Can you all just do that with me? A restorative deep breath. Easy breezy. Just connects you here. Not so much energy here. Four, reinterpret the thought. That's a good one. Instead of, you know, you're waiting for a, a guy or a girl to call you and they haven't and you're like, oh my God, they don't like me. Why don't you just Reinterpret it. That may be true, but probably isn't, because we immediately go to the negative interpretation. What about, he's in Bangladesh? You know, it, that could be just as truthful as he doesn't like me. But you don't have access to that because you get on the repetitive ne negative way of interpreting falsities. It's not real. So reinterpret. Reinterpret in a way that makes you feel good. This is all in this really good book. Number five, fake it until you make it. I mean, you hear me talk about that all the time. Just, I was talking to Gina today. Listen, sometimes you're not going to feel so great about yourself. That's okay. Don't take the quantum leap. Just fake your way to feeling better. So you don't have to feel every day like you're Superman. You can just feel like, you know what? Today, I'm, I'm okay. And that's good enough. That's better than beating yourself up. I'm doing just fine. And then if you keep faking your way from there, eventually you'll be like, I am Superwoman. Six, connect to your body. You gotta get physical. Go take that boxing class that's right below us or next door in the new space. Visualization, spend a little bit more time. You know, was I listening to the other day that, that the unconscious mind does not differentiate between what's actually happening and what's happening here. Spend a little bit more time in here with picturing of what makes you feel good. Number eight, change the subject completely. I know you really want to talk about all the things that are not working for you. Again, I was talking to Izzy today. Oh, she's just booked two shows. Well, let's have those kind of conversations. That's so much more fun and uplifting and leading you to where you want to go than talking about what isn't working. A lot's working. Talk about that. Can you talk about what's working in your life? Can you? Yes? yes. Can I get an amen? Okay, thank you. Nine, I'm almost done. Focus on what is working. It's very similar. A lot is working. This is something I say in the book. If you don't, if you can't find anything that's worth celebrating, then go to Go to a developing country. Go to remote, remote parts of the world and see that more than 80% of the world's population survives on less than $10 a day. Then tell me you have nothing to celebrate. Snap. 
And number 10, look for the power of synchronicity in your life. I mean, that's a big one for me. Signs and symbol, guideposts, messages, hunches, ahas. Everywhere you look, there's something there trying to, come here, over here, listen to this. How about that? Call that person. But you don't. You don't listen to it. You judge it. It's not in the form you think it's supposed to be. You deny it exists. Got to be a little bit more available to that. And then here we're going to do one new one. This is homework. So you're all going to get a buddy in class. You're all going to get a buddy. <laughs> you're not as excited about it as I am. I don't know if we, you haven't heard it yet. Um, I will arbitrarily partner you up at the end of class because it's not going to be your scene partner. My auditors, if you're here with a friend, you should do it with a friend. How about this? Why don't you do, I don't believe in as ifs, like in, in an acting methodology, but I do believe in a, this, this thing about the unconscious mind, believing it here, and then it will start to take its form out here. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to have a conversation with your buddy every day this week. It's only going to be a 30 second or a minute phone call. You're going to call the person up and you're going to have a conversation with them as if the things that you're wanting to have happen have already happened. Yes. So it already happened. So Izzy was like, you know, would be calling, oh my God, Gina, I just booked Shameless and I just booked Two Broke Girls and I just booked. So you're going to talk about it as if it already happened. Okay. Don't have to explain it. You don't have to go into any. Actually, the more you start to talk about it, you're going to feel, oh my God, this is actually possible for me. And it's going to actually fill in the blanks for you. You're going to actually probably get really specific about the possibility of that thing happening. Instead of, yeah, I'm not getting out. It's not working for me. I'm just really stuck. I hate my job. Just flip it, people. That's going to be your homework every day this week. It could be anything. It could be that you, you're, you're marrying your lover in Bangladesh. You could be, I'm obsessed with Bangladesh tonight. It could be anything. It doesn't always have to be career related. Okay? As if. And then you just hang up. See you on set. Mm. All right.